Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Delver. Um, the last time things were going alright, I thought, but then I was completely blasted to bits at the end. Obviously I wasn't blasted to bits in the middle because that would then have been the end. Somehow I could hear Jermaine from Flight of the Concords saying that in my head. Anyway, let's just jump straight into a new adventure. Floor number one, here we go. Must not press F. Must not press F. It's easy to do accidentally, as I've said, and um, also I've just been playing Wozhack, where I press F all the time because it's the button to pick stuff up. So this could be pretty awkward. Um, looks like my prompts are gone, which, as you'll probably remember, is a little irritating because um, it means that I can't see what items are, what their stats are, without picking them up. But I may just be completely ripped to shit here anyway. Bloody hell. Come on, give me a break. Well, I regained health somewhere, I probably got a level or something. Yeah, the on-screen prompts are gone. This seems to be a recurring theme. Uh, would be nice if you patched that. Not to be rude, but it is kind of a big deal. Right, four to six, one to two, so I'll swap those over. Um, I'll hang on to those. What do I have at the moment? Cheese, fine storm wand, and a mysterious dark potion. Fine. Um, Alright. So, what's next? Um, doesn't look like there's anything much here except a trap. So I'm going this way. Uh, is this a, a room with three exits? Yes. So it's a straightforward central hub room. That's alright. A hat. Doesn't matter how rubbish it is. It will be worth putting on. Because it's better than a bare head. Unless it's a zero, in which case I'll just drop it. Fine. Whatever. Okay. Well, obviously that's the downward stair, but we're not going down there just yet. We're going to trawl around the rest of the floor in case there's something worth having. Um, you see, this, unlike some um, full-on traditional turn-based roguelike type things, um, doesn't have a hunger clock or anything similar to that forcing you to press on all the time. Um, oh, crap, crap! Get off me! I was just trying to look at my trousers! Do you have no manners? Right, useless pants and broken leather pants. I don't know how you can break leather pants, but there you go. Um, there's a hat over there that I'll have to go and check out in a minute, just in case it's better than complete zero. Alright, there's a wand, that's alright. Again, it would be nice to be able to see what items are when they're on the floor. You usually can, but this does seem to be a common glitch, where the on-screen displays just don't work. And again, it's not an insurmountable problem, but it is a niggling, persistent irritation, because it means you have to pick things up, and then open your inventory, and then look at them. And there's an enemy approaching! Get away! What is it with you lot interrupting me looking at my clothes? I know it's vaguely narcissistic, but come on, give me a break. Okay. So, what's going on down here? Another guy. Not too concerned. I do seem to be fairly handily dispatching all these enemies, but it is very early on at the moment, so that's not worth getting excited about. Um, obviously, fireball shooting enemies is more of an issue, but hopefully I can bait them up here. The alternative is I whip my wand out and shoot him. But here he is, right on cue. Die! Took a couple of hits, but not a huge problem. Um, I think that passage probably circled us round back to the main hub room. If you heard my voice go a bit whimpery there, it's because I have kind of an itchy, scratchy cough sensation in my chest and I'm trying not to cough. I know I could cough and then edit it out afterwards, but that means watching the whole episode through again to see where it was that I coughed. I can't be bothered doing that. So, uh, check the map. Yeah, we did just loop around there, but there was... Um, Apparently, a tunnel back here that we didn't follow. We turned off to come back down this way. Yeah, this one. Alright, what's down here then? Um, some nothing. I do enjoy finding a big room of nothing. Another wand. I mean, wands are good, but I would prefer better weapons and armour. 
really. Um, they're more sort of consistently useful, whereas the ones are a little bit specialised. Uh, okay, five to six. It's fractionally better than my current weapon. So, I'll take it. <clears throat> And then I suppose we go back to the main hub room, and I think that then is it. Yeah, just head straight across for the stairs. Or the ladder downwards, I suppose. More than a staircase. I keep wanting to hit the spacebar to jump, but you can't jump. Oh, where did you come from? You weren't there before. Cheeky bugger. Right, um, oh yeah, that was the zero helmet, wasn't it? So let's just ignore that and go down the ladder. Fall two. Alright, so next up, some empty corridors. A eh, zombie. I'm not too worried about one zombie on its own. When they were mobbing me at the start of the first floor, that was more of an issue. Oh, he has poisoned me though. The cheeky bastard. Alright, let's look at this shirt, see if it's a better one. Ah, that, that one's better. I must have missed that somehow. I will drop some of this miscellaneous crap that I have made useful. I'll replace those trousers with a wand. Not a phrase I ever expected to utter. And then I'll take on this guy. Alright. Um, yeah, I might as well explore this corridor. I know at least one or two people who've been watching these videos have decided to go ahead and buy Delva as a result. So um, feel free to let me know in the comments what you think about it now you've played it for yourself. Um, also in the comments feel free to let me know if there's anything you'd like me to do, any sort of particular approaches or strategies that you think would be advantageous. Not that you guys are ever particularly shy about telling me what you think I should be doing. Still, um, it's appreciated when you offer me advice, even if I don't take it. As I've mentioned before, um, I don't like to get too involved in sort of looking into wikis and refining strategies and that kind of thing. I, I just don't care enough to want to get into that kind of thing. And I find that getting too much into sort of the meta game subtracts a lot of the fun. Okay, I might as well whack that on since I don't have another amulet. I'll go down here and fight this guy who's having some kind of weird half-zombie, half-human episode. Come on, kill him off. Well, he didn't poison me, so maybe he was human after all. Unless it was... Oh, was it two of them? Was it a zombie inside a human? Or, you know, a zombie and human on the same space. Alright, there's a, a bow. doesn't really matter whether it's a good one or not, since I don't have one already. Um... I'll swap that potion for one of my wands. I don't think I have any arrows yet. I haven't seen any, which is actually pretty unusual. I generally see quite a lot of arrows, as you're probably aware. Rubbish sword, so just get rid of that. I don't want to clutter up my limited supply of inventory spaces with things I have absolutely no use for. Um, yeah, we haven't been down this way, so let's go have a look. I like the sort of cumbered floor here. That's quite a nice touch. Okay... What are you doing infesting this library with your violence? Tainting this room of learning. I mean, admittedly, I was the one who murdered you, but you started it. All right. So what have we got here? That is... Ooh, excellent steel sword of the arcane. So that's a lot better than our previous crappy weapon. And let's try it out on this bat. It's a lot slower, which is unfortunate but it inflicts a lot more damage, and it also said 3 magic. I don't know whether that boosts some kind of stat, magic-related stat by 3, or whether it inflicts 3 magic damage, thereby making it effective against spellcasters. We'll probably never know, but um, if I were to make an educated guess, I'd say the latter. I'd say it does magic damage. Um, or maybe it, <coughs> maybe it isn't magic damage in the sense of damaging the enemy's magic supplies. Maybe it's um, like a type of damage, like fire damage, ice damage, magic damage. So, you know, maybe effective against uh, different types of enemies. Basically, I have no idea. I haven't drunk any of my potions yet, or indeed eaten any food. So, since I've taken a bit of damage, I'm going to try the purple potion, which healed me. I'll try and remember that the next time. I'll probably forget, to be fair. But I'll try and remember. 
Uh, it's difficult to remember things between recording sessions. Now, which, which of these exits is the one we're looking for? Is it the room at the bottom or the tiny little cubby hole at the right, the east, if you will? I don't know, but we seem to have more or less explored everything. So I'm going to go in search of one of the routes out. Yeah, there it is. There's the exit. This bat that keeps running away from us. The sword is probably not as good as our current one, but I'll have a look. No, it's not as good. It's pretty good, but not as good. And then I'll just whack another potion into that number six slot. And we'll head down to floor three. Floor three. Okay. So, that just looped around in a circle. Not a big deal. Oh, now we get to these guys. So, since I don't have any arrows, I'm going to be relying on the wand to take them out from a distance. Caterpillars are making that a little tricky, though. There's some proper armour there. I'll have to give that a look, see if it's better than my current armour. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Um... So I will swiftly check out that armour. 8AC, 6AC, yes. So I'll drop the old stuff. And I will get out my wand. And shoot him! Yeah! And I like that effect, that sort of lightning blast effect. Got a couple of swords here. Um, again, probably neither of them... Three swords now. Probably none of them the equal of the one I'm currently using, but... It would be silly not to at least look, just in case one of them is really fantastic. So, very quickly here. 1 to 6, 7 to 12. Uh, that's decent, but no. No. And again, that's pretty good, but no. Alright, fine. Oh, shite. I knew someone was going to ambush me. Or something was going to ambush me. I'll take the green potion. Um, I've forgotten... <laughs> what the colour was of the one that I tried that healed me. Was it purple? I think it was purple. Alright. So just march through here. Recklessly whack some bats. Knock them down a peg or two. Take this blue potion. Alright. Again, getting a little lost in the maze-like confines of this dungeon. I didn't expect that to be better than my current weapon, but I'll have a look. No, it's dreadful. It's abysmal. Um, where else have we got? We've got a little bit off to the left here, and then at least one tunnel back near the entrance. Right, so this just seems to be the side of the room, but we did at least discover a potion, so that's good. Uh, yeah, just follow this round. Scout the southern side in case there's a door there. Or a tunnel, I should say. Might not be. Yes, there is the tunnel. And then there's the one opposite on the north side as well. Alright, some probably better trousers. Uh, but I'll have to deal with these enemies first, of course. So they don't interrupt me while I'm dressing. Could well be a better bow than the rubbish worn bow we're already using. Six, zero. Definitely better than our previous trousers. That was two to seven. That one's four to nine. So it is fractionally better than our old bow, but not, not by a great deal. Haven't had to use any items to set off traps so far, though I did almost use my face to set that one off. Purple potion should be another healing potion. Um, I'll save it for emergencies, but I did use my cheese for a gradual healing effect. And I'll put one of these purple potions up there, uh, as I say, for emergencies. If I get into a fight and I'm about to get killed, I'll need the quick healing effect rather than the slow regeneration provided by food. And I think we just have this one more tunnel over here. Spiders, not a big deal. Well, I, I assume they're spiders. They don't seem to be very leggy for spiders, but they have that spidery sort of look to them somehow. A bit more cheese, so that's fine. Welcome. What the fuck? Oh, get away from me. Took a few unnecessary hits because I couldn't see the spidery creature. I think I saw a wand up here. Yes. Getting a lot of wands, I have to say. Uh, a yellow potion, not really that bothered. Not too afraid of the bat, and I think that's probably going to be it for this floor. Yeah, pretty much. So, let's just... Um, which way was it? I think it was down that long tunnel, wasn't it? To the west there, so right as I come out of here. I think that was the one. 
some more surprise spiders. Better check out this armor. I mean, the one I've got on is all right, but this could be better. So that's eight, that's seven, drop it. Inventory's filling up, uh, mainly as a result of all the wands and potions that I'm picking up, which actually isn't a bad problem to have. That is a bad problem to have, so I'll get this wand out again, see if I can take him out. I can, but not before sustaining some damage and being poisoned, which is interesting. Might have to eat some cheese to offset the gradual damage, but we'll see. And basically just straight through here. Yeah, alright. And let's go down to the next floor. And on that note, uh, we're past the 15 minute mark. I do like to keep the Delver episodes a little bit shorter than, um, say, the Wozhack ones. So I think we'll leave it there for now. We've done, what, three floors? We're on floor four now. So, thanks for watching. Rejoin me the next time round for some more Delver. Until then, bye for now.